we got to understand that privacy is worth more than money. Your privacy is everything. See, privacy is a main ingredient to peace. But let's let's talk about this uh, final clip. Um, and I know Moose loves this one. Uh, and I find it I find it interesting, right? Because in the world of social media, it seems like we have no privacy. None. Well, uh, a fan favorite, Wallow, uh, says something about privacy. And we're going to talk about it. Good morning. It was a time when privacy was priority. And it was the hierarchy of life. It was just like everything. Now we live in a world where it's though. If you don't put your business on social media, you're not living. You're boring. Uh, you ain't got nothing going on. You're unsuccessful. Um, you're just a loser in life. If you don't have nothing to show, that means your life is is just horrible. It's a, you know, it's a nightmare. We got to understand that privacy is worth more than money. Your privacy is everything. See, privacy is a main ingredient to peace. See, we've been finessed that, oh, put your information out, put everything out there. And then you get mad when people criticize and they sit back and be critics of your life. And not just as they critics from afar, they critics up close and they write, go ahead and write their opinion of, and their views of the life that you, you know, you presented to the world to say you live in. Privacy is worth more than money. Mm. Damn. Pri hmm. Privacy is worth more than money. Yeah, that's, that's big. That's big. You, you know, it's crazy. So I've been on social media, at least from my own personal account, social media hiatus for, I believe this coming December will be two years. Mm -hmm. Right. I haven't posted literally not one single thing. So at least till now, let's just call it 18 months just to, just for, just for counting. 18 months. But you popping on social media though. <laughs> yeah, your, yeah. Your yeah, final yeah. words are one of our best views sometimes. I'm just letting you know this. You're popping on social media. Well, well, shout out to you and the team for that, man. I'm 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 incredibly blessed and I'm I'm super grateful for it. Uh, uh without a doubt. But at least uh, and and I'm and of course I was speaking from my own personal account. And yeah, and and I don't think I've ever really spoken to why or what made me like make the decision. And I don't even know that I intentionally made the decision. I, I spoke about being in just a weird space uh, about that time ago. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't really make sense of it probably until now. And that's what, that's what has me a little bit more open to, the, to different types of branding and marketing on social media Mm -hmm. Today versus, say, six months ago or a year ago, where I was just like, no social media, no right. social media. Like, I was just almost against it. And I was trying to build my ways offline entirely, where now I'm like warming up to it again. Like, yo, social is pretty cool. Like, look at right. this. This right. is kind of cool. Yo, look at what Nikki's doing, right? Like, that, that, that's still some of my favorite stuff to watch. But what I'm learning today, and I've always talked about... Like give yourself time to mature because maturity is our biggest lesson. Like you learn so much and, and forgive me if I'm going a little bit deep here for a second, but, but, but bear with me on this, right? You'll notice that social media trains so much of us to live for now mm -hmm. and not for later. And when I mean living for later, I don't just necessarily mean your older age or your future generations and legacy and generational wealth. I literally mean for a life in the hereafter, right? Like when you pass on, there are, there are accounts that like you're going to be held accountable for your actions. And, and if you're a believer of any kind, then you know that you're supposed to live for your hereafter or do for your hereafter more than you do for your right now. Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you're someone who's just so sucked into all of your energy, all of your effort, everything goes into trying to showcase that you're valuable right now. Mm -hmm. And I think you missed out on not just social media or the meaning of social media, but you've missed out on a big element of this thing called life. And I'm speaking to it because 
that is me. That was me, right? Like the only way I can understand the difference or the or what is most important between what I thought was important versus what actually is important was to just cold turkey shut it down. Mm -hmm. Just entirely, just like stop, no, nothing. At the expense of everything, at the expense of loss of income and a decrease in revenue and, and, and a progression and blah, 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 all these metrics, because who you become in the long run is still more important than any of those things. So just to, just to stay on cue with, with while I was saying, I do think some of us have been suckered into thinking that if I'm not doing this and this and this and this and that, then I'm not it. Right. When the truth is, you're it regardless. Mm. You're, you're showing up on social. It's just a little, it's a little icing on the cake. It's just a little like, hey, I'm, I'm really it, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a flavor. Let me just, just kind of spend a little bit of time showing you about what my it looks like. Mm. So I think a lot, a lot more people, man, and, and I don't know that they may have even realized the effects that social may have had on their life and their my, my prayer and my hope is, of course, that one day they'll really realize it and, and treat it because it, it can be dangerous. So I, I do I do value what Wallow's saying here because it's like, yo, put things into perspective. Like back in the day or at some point, privacy was the it factor. But because we started jumping to these metrics and doing anything to, to show that, hey, I too am valuable. We started shedding our privacy. We started tearing relationships. We started putting any and everything out there, you know, and, and that created some, some turmoil. Perception's everything. You know, yeah. perception's everything. Uh, we, we tend to look at people's profiles and assume what their life is about, what it's not about, and... I didn't <clears throat> I didn't get after a while like why certain celebrities and certain actors uh did still hold that code of privacy when we're such in such a new world. Like some adapted to this new like let me show you a little bit more of my side of things, but there were some that just didn't until I started uh, talking with a, an actor and he put this uh, thought in my head of like, look, we, we have multiple roles we have to play. Like, I don't want them too caught up with a certain kind of lifestyle and think that I can't perform this role or uh, because of who I'm with, I can't you know, have this on-screen relationship or it will cause some turmoil over here. So there still has to be a sense of uh, curiosity and mystique to the profile. And I was like, oh, that makes so much sense, right? And then understanding that regardless if you try or not, social media is a highlight reel. So, you're, of course, you're going to think this is all that's good and glamour. And if you don't show that, you ain't, you ain't got it. It's just not, it's not it, you know. And some things should still be to you. Like, but at the same time, I don't knock those people that show off everything. Because it's like, yo, I want to document these new experiences. Um, actually, uh, I don't think he'll mind saying this. Shout out to Maul, right? Um, I was cracking on him. I was cracking on him in E, right? I was like, yo, you going to let a group of people outdo your Dubai trip? I didn't see these mm. views. I didn't see right. this stuff. From you, I saw a few things. You know what I mean? Yeah, I saw y'all in the ATVs. I saw y'all on top uh, of the highest bill. I saw y'all there. But this over here, I didn't see you do this. I didn't see you do this, right? And he's like... That's hilarious. He's like, yo, not everything is meant for social media, Nikki. 
I said, I get it. However, he was showing it at 3 a.m. What do you mean? Right, like, what are we talking right. about? Like, Gave I get what you're saying. He's like, I Gave didn't show you when we were in Emirates. Oh, but he did. So I don't know what you're mm-hmm. saying, right? And he's like, nah, I don't got to. I don't got to do that. My experience is for me, the people who I'm with and my wife. Like, I could and it probably could get thousands of likes. And then what? I was like, and then I feel that I have to to uphold that I got to show you everything. And I don't want to show you everything. Right? My wife loves me. That's it. Mm. She loved the experience. That's it. And so it comes with the, you know, priorities. What really are you doing this for yourself? Are you doing this for just to get the approval of others? You know, it it really, and because I understand both sides, it's 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 an interesting feeling for me, because I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm big on documenting and showing certain things, but I'm also big on privacy. Right. I'm I'm big on not showing every single. You you don't know everything about me. You assume because of what I show you. And yeah. so you're a pretty like publicly private person. It's weird. It's like the craziest thing ever. It's pretty smart. You see? You see? And <laughs> yeah. everybody loves me. Everybody loves right. me. Right. Um but I, I I think that's a that's my balance of things. You know, it's like I I don't want to compromise uh my expertise. So I never want my life to be the showcase. I want what mm. I'm good at to be the highlight. And then you get a sprinkle of here and there. Um, and, and until it makes sense for me to show more. And when I show more, it's just for a season. And then I go right back to letting you know who I really am. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know why I'm here, right? And right. if we understand that social media is a tool, I don't necessarily have to be a reality TV show. Now, but then again, I know some who are. Like I know um, a good example is when Meek Mill used to show all the, the money in the cars. And he said, look, this is for motivation. This is not to to say, look what I got, ha ha, nana boo boo. Yo, I came from nothing from Philly, and I'm showing the people who are still there that yo, it can happen. So I can understand when the motive is pure. I can understand when you're showcasing a lifestyle because this is bringing attraction to your business, right? I can understand those things. And, but I could also understand when uh, when he says privacy is a priority. And we know Wallow for what he, what he puts out. He puts out these messages. He does his podcast. Uh, and it is what it is. That's it. My man is doing crazy things in the background. I think he just got a position at YouTube. Like, wow. yeah, he's, he's doing great things that don't necessarily have to be on social media for you to say that he's successful. That's why Maul, and we got to get Jamal King on the podcast. Uh, Isaiah, clip this up real quick. Uh, Maul, hello. Uh, You haven't been on the podcast podcast. You haven't. Uh, You could go from one to 82 right now. And you haven't been on the podcast. You were there in the early days. We appreciate your support. However, thanks for um, that. Yeah, thank you. But uh, you haven't stepped uh, over here for a while. Okay, um, you're requested. Um, and if you, if you care to join us, uh, please let us know. Um, we would we would highly appreciate that. And um, don't don't make me nag you and put all our phone calls on the gram 
uh, because I, I have millionaire friends. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't make me be like other people. But um, <laughs> um, I say all that because m the way I met Maul and and you guys can see on on our YouTube channel when we did interview him, uh, he was not on social media, and I was like, everybody got to have a social media account, and he's like, I don't, and he had like six businesses, and he's a whole millionaire, and Crazy. I'm like, what? Why are you not on social media? And I was. Already, like, in the the lifestyle of everybody has to be on social media. So even if you don't, if you don't floss or anything like that, you're showing that it's possible, right? You can show who you are. He's like, I don't care about that. That still doesn't make me more money. Mm -hmm. Then he eventually got on and did make him more money. I'm just saying. These are actually... Factual, yeah, I believe. Yeah, it did, it did make yeah. you more money, sir. Um, but uh, but I understood, like, there's people in, like, real life. And it, and I always laugh when in the clubhouse days, like, there's all these execs that were in clubhouse that had, like, 20 followers. You go on their Instagram, 100 followers, 200 followers, 1,000 followers at most. They're big execs. Mm. You would have never known based off their following count. And that's what right. sometimes we do. We go based off their following count. We look at their pictures. They're in a boat with their dog. Like right, the most right, right. non like here are my relationships. And it's like, oh man, what, what is a, do I find a balance? Do I not find a balance? Do I just go too on privacy or do I do all in? Do I have a healthy balance? I think that's just a struggle. I think I'm not a struggle, but I just think that's a question that every brand, every business should have, every person should have when it just comes to this this world that we live in. That's so real. That's so real. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> 